Right, in this video I'm going to show you how I made this high quality pocket pellet holder for my air rifles out of a piece of brass tube and a short piece of solid brass bar and one roll pin. And this one I made here takes around 75 pellets. You just twist the top and then tip the pellets out as you need them. Right, to save time I've um, turned this diameter to fit the pipe and it's a nice fit, I can actually turn that on there, it doesn't want to be too tight but it wants to be a close fit. I've done the groove for the um, uh, pin with my part off and I've parted off um, halfway down the back there and put a chamfer on the back of the um, shoulder here and I've centre drilled it for the um, live centre. And that one's not a brilliant knurl and you can see what I did there is uh, turn down each um, shoulder front and back so the knurl becomes raised and I put a couple of decorative grooves in there and that actually makes the knurl look a whole lot better. So I've done a pilot drill down to about um, maybe 12 millimeter on this front end here and now I'm going to drill with a half inch drill to the same sort of depth taking care that I do not um, drill right the way through uh, into this groove because this front part would come off if I did so.
I then use my 45 um, chamfer tool just to face off again so that this corner becomes sharp and then actually put a 45 angle on the front out to that diameter. So now before parting off I've put my tool post vise up and I'm going to put the bar in there now with the component still on the end. I haven't parted it off and I can actually use the bar to actually hold um, that component while I mill the um, slot. And to do the slot I'm going to use a 10mm uh, 4 flue end mill bit. It is really best to use a collet chuck, um, but I think I'll be okay on this soft brass. and just eye it up the centre.
and there's the slot done I just need to deburr it and uh, polish it up a bit take these sharp edges off and that'll be excellent and I can afford to go down a little bit deeper with the half inch drill um, to meet up with this U shape here And now I can just buff those edges up a bit. So now I've just turned down this diameter a little bit more so that the groove um, goes down inside the tube a bit. So I've got a little bit less knurl but it makes it more um, in proportion and looks better. And it's a nice fit. If I hold the tube like that I can actually turn it. So it's a really nice fit. And it's really important to round these corners off um, on the actual buffing wheel. Make sure it's all deburred properly inside and out. Um, if you don't deburr these corners here, they can actually catch the pellets um, inside the tube and then damage them. So now I can actually part the component off. I don't part it right off um, because the component may fall and damage something on it. I part down quite a way so that there's a very thin spindle there and then I actually just break it off. So now I've put the brass tube back up in the chuck and I've locked the spindle up on my indexing plate. And then I use the finished top component and put it up against the shoulder as if it's um, in the bore up to the stop and line up the centre drill with the actual roll pin groove. So the centre drill is centre to that groove position. Then I've turned up a bit of scrap um, brass there and just uh, put that one in the bore. 
so it's the same size as that bore, a little bit looser. And then uh, put the um, center in the back and tighten that up. So I'm going to be drilling on the top side off center. And I've locked the carriage up now so it stays in position. leave it set up like this now and take the quick change um, tool holder off and then go and change the collet and put up a small drill. And now the finished drill for the actual roll pin size. And that one feels spot on. So to finish off um, this part, um, I've deburred the um, holes for the roll pin to go in. And I've also drilled the exit hole for the pellets to come out and all you just have to do with that one is uh, put the uh, shoulder up again against the end of the um, tube and see that the drill hole is going to be roughly in the centre of the um, U-groove. And when it's in operation obviously you can see that it's going to close there alright, open, close. and. Um, when you put the um, component in, 
if you sight down through the roll pin hole and you can actually see the diameter of the groove um, then you might have to take a little bit more out I had to do that with this one take another 25 thou out um, so that the roll pin can clear that diameter and push right the way through And when it's right you can actually push the drill through and see that it's going to come through the other side then the top won't pull out and you can actually turn it still so when I bang that roll pin in it's going to be an absolute perfect fit and the scrap piece of um, brass that I used to actually drill that roll pin hole I can actually use in the other end I can uh, part that off of there and put that in the um, base with Loctite 638 and that'll be the plug for that end. Right, so I've now um, loctited the base end into the tube. So now I just fit the top, push it home like that, put the roll pin in, and just tap it home. I will shorten that um, roll pin um, tomorrow, I think. It just wants to be just inside the diameter. And it's a nice tight fit so it won't actually fall open at all. And you can make these with a screw on base so you can actually fill up quickly from the underside here. Just take off the cap and do it that way. But I prefer to keep mine simple and just load up through the same hole as the pellets come out. And it only takes a few minutes to do so. And it's a great holder to keep in the pocket and you can actually make a top here with a loop um, for a lanyard if you want to and when you're out and about it's just a case of twisting it around opening it up and shaking the pellets out as you need them